بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله the rights of a believer over a believer are great and these are rights that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has given us over one another and these are rights that were codified on the tongue of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his actions alayhi salatu wasalam an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qal rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam haqqul muslimi ala muslimi sitta idha lakaytuhu fasallam fasallam alayhi wida da'aka fa'ajibhu وإذا استنسحك فانسحه وإذا عتس فحمد الله فشمته وإذا مرد فعده وإذا مات فاتبعه رواه مسلم إن الحديث صحيح مسلم ذا حديث أبي حريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that uh, Allah's Messenger وسلم, said a Muslim has six duties or six rights over his brother towards another Muslim. When you greet him, greet him with peace. You know, give him salams. When he invites you, respond to him. When he asks your advice, advise him. When he sneezes and praises Allah, say, may Allah have mercy on you. When he is ill, visit him. And when he dies, follow his funeral. And this was collected in, reported in uh, Muslim. Alhamdulillah, the hadith in and of itself is self-explanatory. Letting us know that those six rights that we have over one another are rights that Allah has, has made an obligation to fulfill. And one of those rights that I wanted to highlight is the haq of nasiha, because we don't hear that emphasized as much. And this means that when your brother gives you advice, that you should accept the advice. And you should also return the advice. So the right of a Muslim over his brother is that when he seeks your advice, that you give it to him. So this is something that we want to strive our best to advise one another in good. And this is part of commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And this is a part of sharing uh, and, and wanting good for your brother. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه that the Prophet Sallallahu said, one of you doesn't truly believe until he loves what he, uh, until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. So this lets us know that wanting good for one another, advising one another, accepting advice from one another is a part of the Muslim right. And this is what should distinguish the Muslims from other communities, is that we should be first and foremost in advising and wanting guidance and goodness for one another. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.